Health Alert now. It's focused on how smartphones are revolutionizing health care. There are now hundreds of apps to help manage chronic illnesses from diabetes to heart disease. ABC's Kana Whitworth is in Los Angeles with a look at how they work. Good morning, Kana. Hey, George, good morning. The experts that I spoke with truly believe that using apps could change health care globally and drive down costs. The catch is we have to be more engaged patients. Like most of us, Susie Zavala takes her cell phone to the gym, but she's not texting. A year ago, I had a mild heart attack. I had angiogram and angioplasty done, and I had two stents placed in my heart. She's on the phone taking care of herself using health apps to track her vitals. Something like a pill tracker can be life-saving for Susie. When you have a chronic heart disease, your medications are critical. Apps on the market right now are really easy to use, like this one, Cardiograph. If I just put my finger right over the camera of my phone and press start, I'll know my heart rate in seconds. Hundreds of apps now available to help people manage chronic illness like diabetes, heart disease, COPD, asthma, and many more. Currently, I'm in remission. Rachel Whitman is part of a clinical trial managing her multiple sclerosis through the My MS app. She tracks her vision, walking, and cognition, then easily shares the information with her doctor. It's helping me feel like I'm doing as much as I can. Important to remember, these apps do not replace your doctor and are not regulated the way the medical industry is. But experts say the future is fast approaching and believe that someday they won't just help manage disease, but predict and prevent. Wouldn't it be great to get a notification from your app that your child was going to get sick the next day? If a, someone who lives in a rural area doesn't have access to a specialist, it, could their phone be the answer to that? Absolutely. They'll be home diagnostic testing from things like colon cancer to macular degeneration, leading causes of blindness to breast disease. Health apps can also connect patients to other patients. And create networks of patients who have these same kind of chronic diseases. You don't feel as alone and you feel a little more encouraged to continue, you know, on the path to good health. So at this point, virtual medicine does not offer solutions to every problem. For example, if you enter data that signals an emergency and you need to see your health care provider right away, the app can't address that. But Dr. Saxon is currently working with the FDA and global regulatory bodies to assure that the standards of care are not lowered simply because it's digital health. George? That is critical. Kenneth, thanks very much.